and away from crime. Now, uh, following the siege at home order by the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP to commemorate the 54th anniversary of the declaration of Biafra, Ebony State Governor Dave Omahi had said that May 30 would be set aside as a day to remember millions of Igbo that lost or lost their lives during the civil war. Now, this has elicited mixed reactions among some analysts. Jacinta Obuku has more. Biafra represents nationalist aspirations of the Igbo people whose leadership felt they could no longer coexist with the northern dominated federal government. This led to the brutal Nigerian civil war, also known as the Biafran War, from 6 July to 15 January 1970. Over the years, agitations for self-actualization among the Igbos have grown with people insisting that both the past and present government deliberately pursued a discriminatory policy aimed at marginalizing them. However, Ebony State Governor and Chairman Southeast Governors Forum Dave Omai says he and his colleagues are ready to make it official, saying if the country can recognize June 12 to honor MKO Abiola, there is nothing wrong in setting aside a day to remember 5 million Igbos who were killed during the war and the reactions follow. It depends on the perspective in which we want to look at it. Do you want to remember about how you, uh, people want to remember the war or uh, the lesson that needs to be learned? The, uh, the fact that uh, maybe should, should the war even happen again, should it have happened in the first place? Also, have the issues uh, that led to the war been resolved even after the war, uh, several years after the war? So those are some of the questions we need to ask. Uh, the question about whether it's justified or not is not as binary uh, uh, as many people take it. It's one that um, has been long uh, expected, judging by the yearnings and aspirations of majority of the people. Their memories should not be wasted. Their memories should not be allowed to extinguish because they pay the supreme price for the lives of those who are living. Could there be a repercussion of reopening old wounds? Remembrance of the foreign heroes does not um, uh, bring back the memory of old wounds. Rather. It is suiting to the nerves and suiting to the soul. It is healing. It is more or less like a healing of the soul. And then um, a message that past mistakes should not be made. Because it is obvious that that civil war was avoidable. However, on Sunday, May 30, Abia State Governor Okeze Bazo said he does not believe in the creation of BFR through violence. So, as the agitations continue, one wonders how far this would go in the wake of the president's tough stance on secession. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV, Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.